Hi, Dr. May again, Mini House Talk to get you healthy again. Today, we're gonna talk to you about how to conquer cancer. To conquer cancer is an easy task, okay? And it's a joyful journey too, because when everybody thinks you're gonna die, and you're gonna live today. So that's wonderful, is that right? Okay, number one trick to conquer cancer is to focus on healthy cells. So you have a few cancer cells. Most of people have it. But because their healthy cells eat up those cancer cells, so they are cancer free. But for most of the cancer patients, some of the local areas the cancer cells are overwhelming. So that's why they are diagnosed with cancer. So how to fight the cancer? How to overcome the cancer? Number one, you have to focus on your health, healthy cells. Although you have a few cancer cells, but you have overwhelmingly more healthy cells than the cancer cells. So to focus on your health, healthy cells, there's a few habits you, you have to form. Number one, you have, have a set time of sleeping. I would advise you to sleep from 9 to 10 p.m. to 7 to 8 a.m. every day. So each time you have a regular sleeping pattern. When you are rest well, your healthy cells will function well. Number two, have your three meals at exactly the same time each day so that your stomach acid and digestive enzymes are ready to digest the food each time you eat okay number three when you're energetic go exercise like running or walking or golfing whatever you want or whatever you like just keep moving because life itself is moving movement without movement we're dead so when you're tired, take a rest to restore your energy and then exercise again. The other thing I want you to do is use your abdominal breathings to fill your healthy cells more oxygen so they can fight harder for you. So your health is just indicated just like the level of your breathing. This is your health when you're first born because the baby uses a tummy breathing a lot, is it right? As we go older, grow older, we use tummy and chest, so we're head's getting sh uh, shorter. When we're getting even older, we use chest and neck. <laughs> when we're about to die, we just use neck breathing. We call it nodding breath. Nodding breathing in pediatrics, that's a death signal. You have to really take it serious to rest the kid. So to extend your health, try to use your tummy breathing. That will extend your health, okay? Just like a street fighter, you want your health longer. How can you get your health longer? By breathing deeply so that the oxygen is filled with your cells and tissues. They have so much good oxygen, they can function feel better and they can kill the cancer cells. The other thing I want you to do is be happy that you are alive today. So you have cancer cells in your system, doctors, and all the people think of can they're related to cancer with the death. But today when you wake up, wow, what's a beautiful day, I'm alive. You have to celebrate it instead of worry about the cancer cells because you're alive today, is that right? The other thing I want you to do, I want you to, do to overcome cancer is to have a purpose of life. Figure out why you want to live today. Are you living today is just to breathe in the air, eat the food, or just moving around? Or are you living today to make a difference in your life, in your family's life, or in your community's life, or even make the world different today? Change the world. The other thing is that you want to make a dent in the world. Because every one of us, we come to this world, we have a mission. You come here to accomplish your mission. If you don't have a mission in your mind, your, your life is meaningless, without a purpose. 
just like but one day I, I still remember when I was a little, my mom asked me to slaughter a chicken. I said, Mom, I can't do that. No, the chicken, I, I love the chicken, I can't do it. My mom said, you're a man, you gotta, you, you, you gotta, you gotta be able to kill the chicken. Otherwise, how can you survive? I said, okay, mom, I, let me try it. So my mom gave the knife. I don't know how to <laughs> slaughter chicken. I, I hated that. But I, I try to do it. I go there and <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I think a chicken's head, when you chop somebody's head, they're gonna die. So I just chop the chicken's head. After choking, they chop the chicken's head off. The chicken's still running around. <laughs> I was so surprised. You're so sad. Why are you running around? But when they don't have a headache, the chicken just run around aimlessly, just run everywhere. So that's what happens when our life don't have a purpose, just like a chicken chop our head off. We're going around without purpose. We just get lost. So I want you to start today. If you have a cancer cell in your, uh, in your body, just to have the purpose first, okay? Remember that when you have a purpose, when your purpose is so overwhelmingly strong, everything about you will yield to your purpose, including those cancer cells. I can remember the story. I don't know uh, where I write it, but I still remember the story roughly. So there's a, a guy who was diagnosed with brain cancer. It's a late, very late stage. The brain surgeon say, we, we just cannot, this is so late stage, it's so much spreading, we just cannot do the surgery for you. You might die in three months and or half a year. So this guy, when he go back home, the first day he was so depressed because he's gonna die. And suddenly he realized if he die, his wife have nothing to survive with. Suddenly he's got so excited and said, oh my God, I need to do something different. He, he figured out day and night that he couldn't figure out what to do. And one day he said, oh, okay. Here's the thing I can do. I can write a book. If I write a book, after I die, my book still sells. My wife can collect the loyalties so we can, she can survive on my book. So she suddenly so he suddenly so focused because he doesn't have much time left. Focused so much, he just writing a book, and after half a year, he finished his book. He's ready to die. He said, even today, I'm after I die, my my wife still can live on my book royalties. So he went to the uh, uh, brain surgeon, and the, uh, the brain surgeon examined him. They, they find nothing wrong. Brain surgeon cannot believe it. He went to a CT scan and there's no cancer cells in the brain. What happened? The brain surgeon was so, uh, the, the, the brain surgeon was so surprised. What do you do? What kind of treatment do you have? He said, what are you talking about? I have no treatment. So because you say I'm gonna die, so I'm prepared to die. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just tr try to write a, uh, write a book so that my wife can survive on. So what is his cure? Is his purpose to have his wife live a better life. Next slice. The other thing I want you to do is to simplify your life. Make your life very simple. Okay? Don't make it complicated. So to simplify your, uh, your life, there's a story I want you to share. I know um, in, I don't know whether you know uh, Chinese uh, Chairman Mao. He's a great leader in China. Western world demonizes him a lot because he's a communist leader. But he has a lot of great stories to unite the whole China. That's not an easy job, but he did it. Why he did it? Because he simplified everything. One day, there's a, a, a Mr. Chen. He's uh, coming from Europe. He's a young man. He loved Chairman Mao's cause. So he went to Yan'an to join Chairman Mao for his revolution and he. So Chairman Mao, upon meet uh, Mr. Chen, he asked Mr. Chen a question. He said, Mr. Chen, I know you learn a lot. Can you tell me what is economy? 
I mean, the chest oh, that's what I'm uh, learning in Europe. Well, that's what my TV, uh, PhD about. His economy, he talk about the world economy history and the Chinese world economy, uh, Chinese uh, economy history. He tell Chen Mao, that's the uh, economy. Chen Mao said, Mr. Chen, why you make such a simple thing so complicated? Then Mr. Chen was coming to Chen Mao, tell me what is economy. He said, economy is simple. You put somebody else's money in your own pocket. <laughs> That's economy, is that right? Then he asked Mr. Chen about the war. What is the war? Mr. Chen talked about the world war history and the Chinese war history. He said, oh, this is the war. Chen Mao said, Mr. Chen, why you make a, such a simple thing so complicated? And Mr. Chen, Chen Mao, you tell me what is the war? Word, in China, the word is simple, is that right? You survive and your enemy die. Is that simple? <laughs> so today, you are on the world with the cancer cells. So your purpose is simple. Your healthy cells grow better. Your cancer cells will die. How can you do that? So you have to simplify your life. So that you don't have stress. You know, when we stress stressed up, our whole body is tensed up. When the whole body does, is tensed up, the circulation cannot go through. So nutrition cannot go there, and toxin cannot be removed. So the cells and tissue get inflamed. When they inflame, when the cells still inflame, what happens? The cancer cells win. So to reduce the stress, you have to simplify your life, okay? Simplify your life. So every morning when you wake up, first be thankful. See, hallelujah, okay, well, I'm alive today. So it doesn't matter what is gonna happen tomorrow. Today I'm still alive, okay? And then ask yourself three simple questions. Number one, what do I want? What do I want? So you set the direction and purposes you wanna go. Number two is where I'm at. So you want to go to the moon, but right now you're still on the rocket. Uh, you're 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 on the uh, uh, on the Earth, so you know the distance you have to reach to uh, fulfilling your goals and purpose. Number three, how can I get there? So you want to go to the moon today? On you're on the Earth, you might have to go make rocks today, is that right? <laughs> okay. So if you know the answers in the house, go ahead and just do it. Just do it, just like Nike, just do it. You do it today, you're gonna succeed. If you don't know all the hands in the house, go some, uh, go ask somebody who knows, okay? So if you every day you focus on what do you want and work very hard to get there, and or if you don't know how, you ask somebody to do it, I don't think you leave any chance for cancer to survive. Next slide. So I'm an acupuncture and Chinese medicine practitioner. So unlike a chemo uh, a therapist and a radiation therapist to kill the cancer cells, as an acupuncture and Chinese medicine uh, practitioner, we are helping your healthy cells to become stronger to fight the cancer cells by doing four things. Number one, we help you to improve your blood and qi circulation. Blood, you know already, the red things flow in your vessels. Qi, probably you don't understand it. Just let's assume that qi is just like a nutrient in your blood system, okay? That blood carries, okay? That, that probably will be easy for you to understand. So we, when we improve your blood and qi circulation, your healthy cells have a good nutrition. They're, they're actively working for you. They'll fight the cancer easily. Number two is to remove the toxin in your system. If you know, we, we were talking about the toxin where you get your cells and tissue inflamed. When the cells and tissue inflamed, their functions in paral uh, par paralyzed, and then the cancer cells can over take control of the, the regions, okay? So you want to remove the toxin in your system. Number three is balance of hormones. We have three hormones. Number one is the sex hormones. Number two is adrenaline. 
sex hormones control a sex drive, a, a reproductive system, adrenaline control or stress level. When you stress up too much, they're exhausted. And thyroid. Thyroid is control of metabolism. When the thyroid is too high, uh, we lose weight. Uh, uh, we uh, we kind of have heart palpitation. When thyroid level is too low, we gain weight. We feel lethargic. So these three hormones have to be in dynamic balance. We help you through acupuncture and Chinese herb to balance these three hormones so that your body is in the shape of balance. When you're balanced, there's no chance for the cancer cells to survive. Number four is to reduce the stress. Just like I talked before, when you stress all the muscles and tendons tense up, when it tense up, there's no way they have good nutrition to it. And even the toxin in the system cannot be drained. So when there's no enough nutrition and no too much toxin, what happens to the cells? They'll, they'll malfunction. Okay. So that's what we do to help you. So as far as you follow all these principles, you have a great deal of chance to conquer the cancer. We welcome you to join our experienced alternative medicine, uh, medicine teams for you to win over cancer. Okay? If you like our slides today, please give us a sum up. If you think uh, you agree with our principles, if you have a difficulty illnesses or cancers, come to us. Let's let's just do an evaluation and see whether we can help you or not. Go ahead and visit our website. Okay? Thank you again. We'll see you next time.